Number 69. Which of the following answer choices is equivalent to the expression shown below? So we have 12x squared minus 8x plus 15 divided by 2x minus 3. Is that equivalent to answer choice A, B, C, D, or which one? Now, there's two ways in which we can get the answer. We could use long division, or we can plug in numbers. Let's try plugging in numbers. Let's plug in 2 into the expression. So this is going to be 12 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 15. On the bottom, it's going to be 2 times 2 minus 3. 2 squared is 4. 8 times 2 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4. And 12 times 4 is 48. Negative 16 plus 15 is negative 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. So this whole thing is 47 when x is 2. Now, let's see which answer choice is equal to the same thing. Let's start with a. 6 times 2 minus 4. That's going to be 12 minus 4, which is 8. So that's not 47. We could eliminate answer choice A. Now, let's repeat the process with answer choice B. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. So that's not 47. Now, let's try answer choice C. So it's 6 times 2 plus 5 plus 30 over 2x minus 3, or 2 times 2 minus 3. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3, that's 1. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 30 is 47. So the correct answer for this problem is answer choice C. So that's one way in which you could solve these types of problems. It's by plugging in numbers. But let's use long division to confirm our answer. So let's set it up this way. I might need more space. So here's the process for long division. Step one, divide. Step two, multiply. Step three, subtract. So let's divide 12x squared by 2x. That's going to give us 6x. Next, multiply. 6x times 2x is 12x squared. 6x times negative 3 is negative 18x. So now we need to subtract. 12x squared minus 12x squared, that's going to be 0. They're going to cancel. Negative 8 minus negative 18, that's negative 8 plus 18. So that's going to be positive 10. And at 15, we could bring it down. Now, let's repeat the process. So let's divide 10x by 2x. 10x divided by 2x is 5. Next, let's put our subtraction symbol and then multiply. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times negative 3, that's going to be negative 15. Now, let's subtract. 10 minus 10x is 0, 15 minus negative 15. The two negative signs will become a positive sign. So that's 15 plus 15, which is 30. Now, the way you write your answer will be like this. So what we have here, all of this is equal to what we see here on top. That's 6x plus 5 plus the remainder which is 30, divided by what you try to divide it by, which is 2x minus 3. So that's how you can get the final answer, which is answer choice C. Number 70. If r of x, which is equal to 2x cubed minus 7x squared, 
minus 18x plus 63. And s of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to r of x divided by s of x? So let's divide those two first. So r divided by s. r is 2x cubed minus 7x squared, and you know what the rest is. And s is x squared minus 2x minus 15. So what do you think we need to do here? Looking at our answer choices, we can see that we may have to use long division. But it's wise if we factor first before using long division. Now you could plug in numbers, so you can try that technique if you want to. You could even do so now, but that's going to be a lot of work, especially if the answer is not in the beginning. So let's begin by factoring the numerator. It looks like we can factor by grouping. Negative 7 divided by 2 is the same as 63 divided by negative 18. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. So that is going to be x squared. 2x cubed divided by x squared is 2x. Negative 7x squared divided by x squared is just negative 7. Now let's do the same thing for the last two terms. So we could take out a positive 9. Actually, no, a negative 9. Negative 18x divided by negative 9 is 2x. 63 divided by negative 9 is negative 7. So now let's factor out 2x minus 7. If we do, we're going to have x squared and negative 9. Now, we can factor x squared minus 9 using this formula. a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. So a is going to be x, b is the square root of 9, which is 3. So x squared minus 9 can be factored to x plus 3, x minus 3. So I'm going to write everything on the right side. So far, this is what we have for the numerator. 2x minus 7 times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now, let's focus on factoring this trinomial. How can we do so? First, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 15, but add to negative 2. So this is going to be 5 and 3, but particularly negative 5, positive 3. Negative 5 plus 3 adds up to negative 2. So we can write this as x minus 5 times x plus 3. So at this point, we could simplify. We could cancel the factor x plus 3. So we have 2x minus 7 times x minus 3 over x minus 5. Now, this doesn't look like any of the answer choices up to this point. So we still have some more work to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to FOIL. Let's multiply these two binomials. So we have 2x times x. That's 2x squared. 2x times negative 3, that's negative 6x. And then combine that with negative 7x. That's negative 13x. Next, negative 7 times negative 3. That's plus 21. Divided by x minus 5. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use long division. So let's divide first. 
2x squared divided by x is 2x. Now let's put our subtraction symbol and multiply. 2x divided by x, I mean multiplied by x, is 2x squared. And then 2x times negative 5, that's going to be negative 10x. So now we're going to subtract. These will cancel. And then we have negative 13x minus negative 10x. So that's negative 13x plus 10x, which is negative 3x. Let's bring this down, and then we're going to divide. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And then multiply. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. So we have 21 minus 15, which is 6. So this fraction can be written as 2x minus 3 plus the remainder 6 divided by x minus 5. So this right here is the final answer. Answer choice D.